Hi everybody and welcome to a tour of the cockpit and interior of this lovely Fairline Tiger 34 in virtual reality. So what does that mean to you? That means all you need to do is click and drag your screen or swipe your screen up, down, left or right. You, look like, you can look around where you like and when you like, you don't have to look where I look. And we hope that this amazing feature will allow you to feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. How cool is that? Now I will move the camera, some people are sensitive to it, if that may be you, I'll let you know when the camera's going to be moved so you can avert your eyes, and then once the camera's safely back down, I will let you know so you can return to the tour with me. Let's hope that doesn't happen. So here we are, in this wonderful cockpit. We're looking light, bright, recent upholstery looking great, deck looking really, really lovely too. We've got lots of head height in here, if I walk around you can just see the head height. We've got a really high radar arch, really high cockpit enclosure. We have the cockpit enclosure all the way around us here so effectively we've got another outside room or a conservatory so we can sit here in the, in the rain and the wind etc. Still enjoy ourselves and have a great view. Some of the windows, I think most of the windows on this particular one need replacing but that's fairly easily done but the fabric itself which is the expensive part all looks pretty good to me as does the upholstery on the seating which looks absolutely lovely. So when we come onto the boat we have a really nice uh, wide swim platform. We come through the uh, through the garden gate here once we've rolled the companion way up and we're in. We're, um, I'm standing on top of the uh, engine room cover so to lift that we take the, the, uh, the cockpit table away, lift up that seat, lift up that seat, lift the lid, two nice Volvo CAD 300 sitting under there with lots of servicing documentation, no problems at all, really really lovely. On the right hand side here we've got a lovely seat here which pulls out to give access to tankage and uh, fuel valves underneath, somewhere to put your bits and pieces, a step, a uh, hop up to the side deck here. We do have handles in really good places on this boat to help us get around. So we have a handle here and a handle on the outside to grab hold once we're out there. Really, really nice and easy to get around. It is lovely and bright, clean in here. We have just been uh, valeted as the boat has just been polished, anti-fouled, engines done, stern drives done, she, uh, she really is a prospect. Absolutely love her. But let's pick you up for the first time and I'll take you and place you here. So you're on the back of the helm seat. Let's make sure you don't fall over. There we go. Before I come up to where you are, there's a little step up, but on the right hand side here, we have got a fridge unit, so we've got something to hold on to. Cup holders, as we have cup holders here, we have cup holders here and here. Some more at the front there as well, so all sorts of places for your red G's and T's to go. I think if you lift this lid up here, we've got access to a nice deep fridge unit in there. Very nice indeed to keep your, uh, your uh, tea uh, and your cucumbers cold. And uh, yeah, let's uh, hop up here and join you and see where see what we can see. As being up here, we can see a lot because we're higher up, so we've got a better view out of the window, so great for watch keeping at sea, those are coal regs that we're all following, etc. And we can talk down to the people down there. I didn't mean talk down. We can talk to the people down there. We can pass them their drinks, etc., etc. Um, but we're in a slightly elevated position here. On the port side here, nice L-shaped seating, storage underneath as well. Beneath us is the, uh, is the aft cabin. Uh, on the right hand side here, you're sitting on the back of the helm seat, which uh, again is a really lovely uh, upholstered affair like the rest of the cockpit. And you can see we've got a bolstered seat here as well. So if you want to uh, have a more standing position while you're bombing across the waves, you can do, can do no problem at all. Really great view forwards and to the sides and to the back, so should be good for driving at sea. And uh, if I just look at the helm console itself, you can see obviously we have wheel steering, we have got uh, speed and depth, we've got autopilot, we've got chart plotter, uh, we've got electric switches here, and uh, in the middle we've got uh, the the, uh, the tilt and trim, rud rudder angle indicator, port and starboard engine alarms and warnings, port and starboard engine hours and tacos, uh, fuel tank, water tank and uh, trim tab uh, controls, bow thruster controls, EDC, Volvo EDC throttle controls here, engine start stop and I think that's about all of it but uh, pretty comprehensive I think you'll agree. And then just over here we have a small lift up unit here where you could put your chart publications, maybe a small paper chart if you want one as backup but forward of that we have a compass and more engine instrumentation so oil pressures, uh, oil temperatures and charging voltages too. Very nice indeed. Over on the port side here, just uh, forward, you, again we've got a handle here, handle there, great for going down and coming up. We've got a really, really heavy Perspex unit here, so uh, or, and uh, underneath here we've got a nice, like your glove box affair for all your bits and pieces there, very nice. More cup holders and more stowage there. How lovely is this? I feel very special just being here and I hope you do too. But let's pick you up again, we'll take you down below 
and I'll place you first of all into the galley. So there we go. Hopefully, hopefully you'll be comfortable there. I'll place you there actually. And uh, this is the starboard side galley. Plenty of room here. Lovely deck. Nice grey carpet. Very recent as well throughout the whole boat and the cabins everywhere. All whipped and in shape. Absolutely lovely. Companionway very easy to come down. The steps do uh, give you a bin compartment underneath which is really handy. This is nice and heavy. Testament to the build quality I say. A grab, hold, grab rail to grab on hold of whilst you're cooking or whilst you're going up and down the companionway. And once you're in the galley you can see we have got a cooker. We've got burners under here. So that we have some auxiliary work surface here that we can just lift out of the way. Uh, nice sink underneath here, hot and, hot and cold uh, running water with a mixer tap. Fridge under here, storage for your cleaning gear, storage for your cutlery etc. And storage for some more bits and pieces like tea towels under there. Very nice area, lots of room to cook without getting in the way of other people or other people getting in your way. You'll see around the boat on the starboard side here and on the port side here we have got nice wooden cupboards. Some of the, most of them, of them are empty for storage. This one here holds the electrics panel. There we go. Burning away nicely in there. We've got the heater controls above and uh, we have got plenty of portholes here that, that uh, open with fly screens on this boat. So great for ventilation along with hatches. And then just nestling in the background here you can see we've got the stereo and we have got a smattering of 240 volt sockets around this boat too. But I think you'll agree she's looking pretty special. I'll leave you there while I just uh, move this uh, dehumidifier here and uh, look at at the port side of the saloon so you can see we've got a saloon table here which looks like it goes up and down may or may not make into a double to be confirmed but we have got this lovely uh, u-shaped seating or just u-shaped seating very nice upholstery doesn't look uh, terribly worn in any way and again we've got the nice cupboards which uh, open up again to give you lots of storage and opening windows with fly screens all over the place. Wood everywhere, leather everywhere, nice shiny surfaces everywhere, we've got nice brushed stainless steel. Feeling really lovely and contemporary down here and it smells great too. She's a really really lovely and clean testament to her owner's care, very nice indeed. So I'll pick you up next, I'll just open this door, take you through and here we go, I'll just place you there camera safely back down. You're in the heads compartment, this is the only toilet on the boat. It looks very clean, we've got nice radius corners so really easy to clean I think. We have an electrical, uh, an ele electric toilet, uh, toilet, the shower hot and cold mixer down here, and a proper shower up here, mirrors up here, lots of standing headroom, shower curtain fitted and uh, generally a nice place to go and do what you need to do. And uh, if you want to store your stuff it all fits in there put it in there, stow it away, and it's safe for that high-speed transit. Very nice indeed. Nice sink with storage underneath and a hot and cold uh, mixing tap and a bit of work surface where you're sitting there too. So, generally speaking, a nice heads compartment. Really great. Okay, let's pick you up again. And we'll uh, just come out of the heads compartment, close the door on that, and take you through to the forward cabin. Okay, there we go. So, really, really nice big island bed, you've got access ports and starboard. If I just come in and close the door, that'll give me a little bit more room, there we go. Carpet all over the place again, nice and new. We've got heater, um, heater grill there, so it should be nice and warm in here too. Vanity unit on the after bulkhead, and uh, we have shelves, ports and starboard, which uh, do have identical or uh, mirror opposites, little cupboards, along with the uh, windows, as, as, again, which open, and the hatch, which opens onto the foredeck and the hatch has also got a fly screen and a darkening screen as well, which is great. And if we just open this cupboard here, you can see we've got a nice deep hanging locker there. Very nice area, plenty of room. Uh, we've got uh, a combination of moulding, gel coat moulding and leatherette up here or vinyl up here, which looks absolutely lovely. All seems nice and clean, smells great too. And the bed looks really, really comfortable. But uh, let's open the door and take you back out and we'll go to the aft cabin. So there we go through the saloon and we open the door to this section here and that will take us through to the aft cabin. In fact I'll place you right there. There we go. So you're on the seat and you'll notice as I come in there's good headroom here but once I'm in and if I want to go any further because we're underneath the uh, the cockpit here very very conventional layout uh, we're down to a squat. We have got a, a, an ensuite sink here which is very nice if you want to wash in private. We have some storage underneath here. We have some storage underneath or uh, above us here as we we have this follows a theme throughout the boat and then once you're in you're, you're, you're onto that nicely that you're sitting so we can sit here and get changed and uh, whoops let's pick you up again that wasn't supposed to happen there we go and uh, you can see that we're 
Just make sure you're comfortable. There we go. You can see we have a window on the port and starboard side. You can't you probably quite see the window on the in the after bulkhead here, here, which takes you into the uh, into the cockpit. But uh, generally speaking, for the for the uh, the kind of aft cabin this is it's a uh, very conventional plenty of room in here once you're in bed lots of room here to lie down the beds but look, look, look lovely and comfy nice and long athwart chips three windows letting light and ventilation in as well bit of storage in the port half corner there and a nice wardrobe here on the after bulkhead no problem at all and of course the carpet follows through here too and matches the rest of the boat very nice indeed right then let's pick you up for the last time and we'll just sum up back up in the cockpit here we go I'll just uh, tweak the camera base I'll place you uh, right here sort of midships in the cockpit there we go and uh, as you can see we're back in this lovely light cockpit so this has been Tim from Bowshire Drop Brokers just taking you for a quick tour around the interior of this boat in glorious virtual reality hope you've uh, managed to appreciate the light bright airy new carpet recent upholstery beautifully clean boat this year but uh, yes thanks for watching and if you'd like to see reviews of other lovely boats like this just go to our youtube channel boat shed yacht brokers thanks for watching take care have a great day